my greatest achievement as a builder occurred last September and October when I was bestowed with the National Heritage Award. When I got the call from Mr. Berge, I want to tell you, I was on the verge of tears. I couldn't believe it. And why I didn't pass out when I was talking to him, I'll never know. My orchestra as well, when they found out that they were going to make the trip along with me to Washington and perform at the concert, they were quite taken by it. They, they didn't know what to expect. They didn't even know what this honor was that I was getting. That first night in Washington, uh, all the recipients, we uh, had a little get-together where we became acquainted with each other and met each other. They were all delightful people, and they, they all seemed to come up the hard way, and, which I figured this is, this is what I did because I had no help. I had to do all this by trial and error. And of course, the, uh, the concert uh, the following day at, uh, at the university was another uh, spectacular thing. We even got an encore. Uh, I was able to uh, to sing my wife's favorite song without uh, breaking up, and uh, it turned out to be that's the highlight of my whole career. It's a thirteen-inch scale, and the bridge will wind up almost in the center of this instrument, and that's just where I want it. So I'll just proceed and get ready for securing the fingerboard. Now comes a spell where I'll have I'll uh, glue this on and we'll have another little weight, but we're about three steps away from uh, physically finishing this. I'll be at a little stand still here for a while now. Perhaps I'll do the fretwork now. After these frets are all in, they'll have to be honed with a uh, abrasive tool, and then with a fret file, the crown will have to be put back into them because, if you know, if you got a high fret, you're going to have buzzes. thing in the world is to cut them and pound them in, but that's not the end of the action. You have to have a, an abrasive stone that will hit all the high spots, and then without a doubt there will be certain parts of it that are will have a flat spot and you'll want to get that out. So with a, with a fret file, with this curvature on the inside, you just hit each file so you see that little flat spot disappear. I shaped the neck of this instrument on my drill press with a what they call a rotary file. 
And this is in the parcel that I bought from the old instrument maker from Chicago. I've had it for 30 years, and I don't know how, how, how long he had it, but it still does the job, still able to shape uh, hardwood with it. Scraping uh, is really a good system. It's, I think it's actually better than filing. I'm sure that the old makers of the long gone years didn't have sandpaper available to them, so they used scrape, scrapers, you know. Oh,